it's recommended to do ESD testing in a Faraday cage, but we also have seen uh, people who have dedicated rooms to transient uh, testing, so they may, might have their surge and EFT generators in a, in a small office, but basically the concern is to, uh, to not disrupt uh, you know, external electronics. Um, so Scott here, come here and help me. Uh, it's a two-man job, come over here. We're gonna start pulling out the ground panels straight out of the crate. So using a nice little nut driver that's supplied with it, we bolted the overlays onto our three panels, making our entire ground plank. Now to take the table out of the crate, one side of your crate, come up a little closer to me, the one side of the crate's got uh, screws in it. So you can simply, starting actually at the bottom, you can unscrew the sides and we're gonna pull the table right out nice and easily. Now, I've been using a demo ground plate, but all the metal you get is going to have new film on it, which should peel off nice and easily. Next thing we want to do, we want to mount our insulation foil, which is in a tube. We'll pull this guy out. All right. Some people might just lay it there, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna center it on here and we're gonna mount it permanently with, uh, with some spray adhesive. Place my mat down. Alright. You can go ahead and lay your side down, Scott. Get off the wrinkles. Alright, so we ended up getting a little bit anal with the wrinkles. So we've uh, taken a couple of smaller heavy things and put them down. The adhesive will eventually make it stick so it's nice and flat. While we're waiting for that, I'm going to go ahead and take my warning tape that came with it and I'm going to section off our ground plate. Alright, so we're going to ground the entire system. Uh, I've got a quarter inch spade here and I've connected it into a, a little wall jack here. So uh, basically what we do is we're going to Select any bolts here in our system. Uh, I'm going to use it on the back side. Just go ahead and connect it in. So now our resistor cables we use to connect to the tabletop and the vertical plane. If you're not sure what this is for, a good example is a cash register. Um, with the metal sitting on top of the metal tabletop. That's uh, one of the leading factors as to what caused this, um, this portion of the test. So I've bolted both my ground uh, resistive cables to the same bolt. It doesn't matter whether you do the same bolt or a different bolt. You are going to ground your ESD gun as well to one of these bolts as well. The end. <laughs> 